just growing momentum for the cigarette tax. Uh, any update on your, your your thoughts on that on that issue? No, no, not really. Not any update on it. You know, I'm not uh, particularly fond of, of any taxes. Uh, uh, user fees may be a, uh, a different item. So we'll see how it progresses in the House and the Senate. Uh, you know, they have a tough job, um, uh, our members, and uh, we've already cut over seven billion dollars over the past two years in, in Florida's budget. And I'm very proud of the work that they've been able to do, and yet continue to provide education for our children, health care for the poor, protect the most vulnerable among us, have safe communities in Florida. Um, and the stimulus money is helping us quite a bit, obviously, and I'm grateful for that as well. Um, as you say, we'll be at the halfway point tomorrow. So use your fees, how Senator Altman called, spoke of the cigarette. I mean, he called it a surcharge or something. Mm -hmm. Well, whatever it is, um, we, we know that we have to be in balance, and uh, we have to start as I said last week, drawing a bead, as hunters would say, on getting there. And, uh, you know, we've, we've proposed a lot of reductions. We have proposed uh, living within our means, uh, trying to do the kinds of things that I think Floridians will appreciate. Um, nobody ever wants to uh, raise revenues. Uh, and so let's see what uh, evolves over the next few weeks. If the legislature does decide to go with a cigarette tax, is that something you can support? Well, I don't know as yet. I want to make sure all the options are explored, uh, that we look at uh, every opportunity uh, and, uh, and see what develops. With, with the cigarette tax, does it, does it help you uh, um, go along with it if that revenue is dedicated towards something, whether it be maybe low-income health care, healthy kids, something like that? I'll leave that to the legislature. I mean, they've got a tough job filling these holes as it is, and um, so I don't want to be restrictive in, in how it might be utilized except for the benefit of the the uh, cigar people in Tampa and I assume elsewhere are not too happy about the idea. They don't know yet how it would apply to them. Right. My understanding is there wasn't discussion that related to cigars uh, until you know maybe yesterday, and uh, obviously that's a, a an industry in Florida that has a great tradition, especially uh, in the Tampa Bay area and probably some other parts of the state. But uh, I would rather see that moved if possible. I need to ask you about education stimulus. Has that waiver been applied for? I understand maybe due tomorrow. Or no, it's not due tomorrow. Um, they have to get us a formal application. And my understanding is that we should be able to anticipate it by tomorrow. Uh, we need that waiver for education because it means billions of dollars to Florida. Uh, we're pretty optimistic that once we get the formal application, we can send it right back uh, and then within a couple weeks have an answer. But Secretary Duncan has been very positive in his remarks, and I'm encouraged by that. I look forward to it because I know it'll help Florida's children. Is this uncertainty, or that it just seems to keep rolling? That it takes this seems to take more time to apply for this waiver. I remember you saying to Commissioner, "Get it done now." When that was three weeks ago, he could. Well, he's ready. Uh, you know, our commissioner here in Florida is ready to do it. We just need to have the formal application so we can fill it out. It's kind of like getting accepted to college. You have to have the application get in the mail to you before you can apply. Well, we're waiting for the application, but as soon as it comes, we're ready to send it back. I've asked you this before, Governor, but you've established a, a pretty, pretty strong political relationship with President Obama. Do you think that will help in terms of getting that waiver? You've said before you thought it would help. Well, I certainly don't think it's going to hurt. I mean, we, we've been uh, supportive of the stimulus. I don't know if that helped, you know, get it passed or not, but I, I suspect it didn't hurt either. Um, but but I think it will I think it will lure to uh, Florida's benefit for the reason it should because it will help Florida's children and they deserve it and that's why I think we'll get it approved. Governor, uh, last you question, guys. Any more details on a small US? <laughs> <laughs> that's a new law. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Have you gotten any more information about the proposed smaller U.S. sugar deal and, and, and sort of where are you at with? A little bit. Um, I, I'm encouraged. Any updates? Yeah. Yeah, well, probably in a more formal sense tomorrow, Mike. Um, but uh, I think you will see it uh, reduced in size, uh, probably about 75,000 acres. Uh, and the, the reason is um, obvious, I think. <laughs> the economy is what it is. I mean, there's, there's less money out there. My goal is to be able to um, hit the sweet spot, no pun intended, and, and really uh, target in on the acreage that's important uh, to be able to be successful in reconnecting uh, the uh, the lake to Florida Bay through the Everglades and and then maintain an opportunity to expand upon it when the economy turns around. I think we're on the path to that, but 
We should be able to let you know tomorrow, Thursday, for sure. <laughs> Any kind of a price tag on that smaller on that smaller version, that seventy-five thousand acres? Um, a lot less than was before. <laughs> there's a push to there's a push to make the online travel companies, Expedia and others, yeah. pay a, a fuller amount of, of bed tax. Uh, the, the, the argument is that they're not they're paying on a discounted rate do you, do you support that to get to get more from those companies I don't know if that's necessary I mean you know it seems to me that companies like that really benefit a state like Florida that depends so much on tourism and uh, I mean I haven't seen the particulars of it yet Alex but I, I, I'm, I'm happy to look at it but my gut instinct is that that might uh, be somewhat detrimental to tourism so how soon after case. the session will you make a decision on your political future uh, I'd, I'd prefer to do it sooner than later, and um, you know, probably within a few weeks. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Tom.